Many people, of course, remain concerned about immigration rights. And to help shed some light on this, we have Jorge Barón in our studio, the executive director of the Northwest Immigration Rights Center, joining us. Good morning, Jorge. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Vanessa. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, so first let's talk about DACA. Uh, does your organization <clears throat> see any potential or will uh, for this situation to be fixed before the next election? Uh, well, we hope there will be the will because, uh, you know, now with the Supreme Court up taking up the cases, uh, we have a situation where there's a risk that the Supreme Court will say, you know, President Trump can, can go ahead and end the program. And that will put uh, nearly 800,000 people across the country and over 17,000 people here in, in Washington State in, in, this, in this limbo situation because they've now had this deferral of deportation. They've had work permits. Uh, so it's going to be a, a, a terrible situation if they're not, uh, if those are taken away uh, and they're put at the risk of deportation. So uh, we hope that Congress will, will take up the issue. The House has already passed uh, an important bill called the American Dream and Promise Act. Mm -hmm. uh, we hope the Senate would take up that bill. Uh, I think I'm not re uh, optimistic that that will happen in the short term, but we hope that the political um, momentum will be there in the fall to make that happen. All right, and let's talk about something that happened uh, recently. So on Friday, asked, activists had asked a U.S. judge about um, bond hearings being uh, or I'm sorry, that the new policy that would keep thousands of asylum seekers locked up without the ability uh, for bonds. Can you tell us more about that? Sure. Well, actually, our organization is the lead, uh, lead attorneys on that case. So this actually, this case started back, uh, you might remember, a year ago when we had parents who were being separated from their children at right. the border. Some of them were brought up here. Uh, we had a, a, a young uh, mother, uh, Yolani Padilla, who was separated from her child. Um, and mm -hmm. she um, uh, was is actually the lead plaintiff in this case. And at the time, we were just pursuing prompt bond hearings. Uh, we just wanted them to have an opportunity to go before a judge quickly to be able to ask for release. Uh, and then the administration recently decided to just say they don't even get a bond hearing. Forget about prompt bond hearings. They're just not even going to get a chance to ask the judge to release uh, to be released on bond. So that was what, what was issue at the, at the hearing on Friday. We're saying to the judge, you know, that can't be. It can't be. It's, it's un-American. It's, it's unconstitutional to have people locked up for months indefinitely without an opportunity to even ask the judge for release on bond. Um, so we're optimistic that uh, Judge Peckman uh, that is uh, hearing the case will issue a decision in the next couple of weeks mm -hmm. uh, and that she will acknowledge that people in this country uh, who come to seek asylum uh, should have the opportunity to ask a judge for a bond hearing. All right, Jorge, one more point we want to take to. We actually want to show you some video. It shows a new processing facility soon to open in Yuma County, Arizona to handle Again, the surge of undocumented immigrants. It's a temporary shelter, soft-sided facility and designed to hold about 500 people who will sleep on gray foam mats. It's equipped with play pens for children. And the question that we want to ask you, is there still more to do to improve conditions for undocumented immigrants? Well, I, I think, that, you know, the situation at the border, I think the problem is that the administration has made the situation much worse through its policies. And so, of course, over the last uh, few weeks, mm -hmm. uh, we've been hearing the reports of the very uh, horrible conditions that people, including unaccompanied children, are being put in the border. Uh, and the reality is that most of those people should not be in detention in the first place. So that's the problem is like we can, you know, can tinker and, and have like additional things in those detention camps, uh, but they just shouldn't be there in the first place. And so that's that's the thing that we should be focusing on. Uh, you know, the, the losses that we have, again, to try to prevent people from being in detention in the first place. But the administration is going full force the other direction, which is to keep more people in detention. Um, and so, of course, conditions should be improved. Uh, but we should also focus on the fact that people should, you know, these facilities should just not exist in the first place. So we hope that people will be paying attention to this. This is what our own government is doing. Uh, and so it's on us to make sure that our government is acting in a different way. All right, Jorge Barreau, the executive director of the Northwest Immigration Rights Center. Thank you so much for shedding some local perspective on these national issues and, and joining us this morning, Jorge. Thank you. Thank you so much.